What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I bring you guys the new Future War Cult vendor weapons that will be coming on May 19th with the House of Wolves. But before we get into inspecting these weapons and taking a look at their mods, if you guys could drop a like I would appreciate the support as it really does help out. Let's try and reach 4,000 likes, that would be insane if we could, okay, get in straight into the new future war cult weapons the first weapon we're going to take a look at is called the fulcrum hand cannon and it does look pretty beast if you do not mind me saying whatsoever okay as you know all primary weapons across the tower vendors are kinetic damage weapons you can also reforge them with the gunsmith when the house of wolves drops and you can also ascend them to a 3658 attack okay we have quick draw is we have sure shot is and we have true shot is we then have Zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. We then have armor piercing rounds, we have extended mag, and we have reinforced barrel. Increased range, reduced stability. Last mod we have is Hidden Hand. This weapon gains better target acquisition. I personally am liking the look of this hand cannon. Zen moment, extended mag, and hidden hand. That's a bit of a beauty in my opinion. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Frenzy which is a fusion rifle. It's a void damage weapon as well and its mods are Red Dot OAS, we have Red Dot OES and we have Red Dot ORES. Next up we have is Replenish. This weapon's magazine will be refilled whenever a super is cast. We have Enhanced Battery which increases its magazine size. We have Lightweight and we have Reinforced Barrel. Increased range, reduced stability. Last mod we have is Battle Runner. Kills with this weapon grant a brief boost to the sprint top speed. Uh, not too bad whatsoever. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is called the Conduit, which is a push rifle you can actually obtain in the game now. Okay, its mods are we have Sure Shot IS, we have Focus Lens FLA5, and we have Red Dot OAS. We then have Feeding Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. We then have Flared Magwell, we have Snapshot, and we have Casket Mag. Increase magazine size, reduce stability then we have reactive reload reloading to happen after a kill grants damage bonus for a short time not bad whatsoever okay the next weapon we're going to take a look at is the culling which is a machine gun you can also obtain in the game right now mods are we have CQB ballistics we have smooth ballistics and we have soft ballistics next up we have battle runner kills this weapon but then brief boost to the spin top speed we have Skip rounds, we have single point sling and we have oiled flame. Faster reload, reduced range. Last up we have Rodeo, reduces the severity of this weapon recoil. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Fear, which is a new rocket launcher, which looks like a fucking tank by the way. Okay, its mods are confined launch, we have smart drift control and we have counter mass. We then have battle runner, kills to this weapon grant a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. We then have flared magwell, we have javelin and we have snapshot. Last up we have grenades and horseshoes. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. Okay, the last weapon we're going to take a look at from Future War Call is the Chosen, which is also a sniper rifle you can obtain in the game right now. Okay, its mods are Ambush SLH25, which is my favourite scope in the game. We then have Longview SLR10, and then we have Eagle Eye SLR20. We then have Rodeo, reduces the severity of this weapon's recoil. We have Quick Draw, we have High Caliber Rounds, and we have Hand Laid Stock, increased stability, reduced range. We then have unflinching. It's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. All in all, guys, not the best sniper in the game. But yep, that is it. That is the future war cult weapons. Is there anything here you're quite interested in obtaining? Me personally, I do like the look of that hand cannon. How about you? Let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.
don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. 